Hey, what is up, everybody? Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios here. We are on day 32 of the 40 Servants Introduction Ritual. We're going to meet the media today, but before we do, we are going to talk about the signs from the, um, the Master. And, I, I mean, for me, I've been so, like, busy the past couple days that I, I everything's been in a blur. But also, to me, that speaks of what the Master Energy is, right? I woke up today... I get up at three o'clock every morning. Um, I woke up today at three, <laughs> kind of burnt out and beat, had my coffee, um, started my daily readings, did my writing. Um, then I do like yoga, Tai Chi and, and meditation. Um, and like when I meditate, I do it in front of the altar that I do this ritual at. Right. And when I was doing that, I kind of connected to the mentor Um or the uh, the master, and it's like, well, I don't have that energy yet. The discipline that it takes to kind of live the life that I'm doing um, is pretty uncommon because I do get up at three every day. I pretty much go nonstop every day with the exception of like eating lunch, and then I do an hour meditation, um, like laying down meditation where it's like almost a nap but not. And then I get up and I work till about five. Then I unwind for three or four hours. Then I go to bed and do it all again. Um not sustainable long term, but it's what I do now, and it definitely takes that master energy. But one of the things as well is we're always kind of cultivating the energy of the master by how we show up. It's just what are we masters of? And your daily habits dictate what you do and understanding that I can still refine it further, but realizing that I'm really at probably one of the more potent spaces in my life for cultivating that energy. Like I definitely feel the blessing of the master. Um, and kind of that insight and guidance and finding the, the fulcrum between work and play. Because although I'm going nonstop, um, there's a lot of fun involved in it. And there's a lot of good times. And it's like really exciting and enjoyable. So it's not bad, right? Um, so the master just kind of helped me touch base with that. And with that being said, <laughs> we're going to get into the, uh, the introduction ritual for the media. And then afterwards, we will kind of introduce ourselves to the media. Stay tuned. I call on you, great servant, the saint, to come to me so I may know you. I am Ross Cessna, the master and ruler of this domain. I call you here so that you can introduce me to the servant, the media, who is known for knowing the truth behind every half-truth. O oh, great servant, the saint, bring the media forth so that I may recognize it, and in return it will recognize me as their friend and master. Ever obey me, great servant, the media, and ever please me. In return, I will offer you acknowledgement and sustenance so that your energy, potency, and fame increase. Give me a sign that you have heard my call and have come forth to welcome me as your master and friend. I make these offerings as a thanks to both of you. And for the incense, I obviously burn communication because um, communication is largely a big part of what the media does. And then I also incorporated imagination um, because they communicate to your imagination, uh, which can be good or bad, dependent upon the messages that they are transmitting, right? And we're just going to pour the tea, and then we will introduce ourselves to the media. Okay, so now let us introduce ourselves to the media. So, this servant shows us how to get the word out about things that are important to us. It encourages us to always remember the power of propaganda, both good and bad. And that's incredibly important to remember. The mantra is, the good word is out. Keywords are disinformation, hype, publicity, advertising, promotion, spin, half-truths, falsehoods, deception, dishonesty, insincere, disingenuous, sly, propaganda, public relations, and the media prayer is, oh, great servant, the media, who knows the truth behind every half-truth, show me what is correct and what is false, so that I may know who my friends and my enemies are. May my name be in good standing. Um, the term media has obviously come up a lot over the past couple of years uh, with certain people in power and everything like that, and my understanding of it is this, uh, I don't really trust anything. There's that saying like trust none of half of what you hear and none of what you see or something like that. Um, pretty much how I try to operate by uh, everything is for 
most things I should say are for somebody's benefit. I mean, even in the context of how I do this, like this is like still media, obviously. It's still a form of media. Um, I try to be really upfront and transparent with people about everything that I'm doing um, because that's me, right? At the same time, I'm obviously approaching situations from a different standpoint than traditional media. Um, so I don't know. It's going to be curious to see how this energy comes up in terms of this showing up for me. Uh, I've been getting more attention on social media and a lot of the projects I've been working on have been getting more notice. I've been involved in this type of uh, like internet type stuff for like four years and it's been a long, hard road and not much progress um, recognition wise. I do feel that that's going to shift at some point. Um, so maybe this is kind of like the precursor to that. I guess we'll see what happens, right? And with that said, um, we are going to close it out tomorrow. We are on day 33, which is the messenger. So thanks for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a blessed day. I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Hey, thanks again for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe by hitting the Phoenix down below and check out more of my videos over there.